a very flash man with the old clothes, aren't you? I want to hear a funny story. You know, I, I've just been in Paris for the last two months, and I was helping out Stiv Bates and Didi Ramon. They were putting a group together. I was helping them anonymously, not using my name. And uh, Didi Ramon, he, he used to be, he used to hang out on 53rd and 3rd, and that's a gay part of town. And I guess I, I told it in front of his wife. So he, and what he did was, he threw bleach all over my clothes, set set my guitar on fire, and I don't got much, I ain't got too many good clothes left. <laughs> Uh, can I take you back to kind of the, the New York Dolls days? It was slightly punk. Do you, you like the word punk, do you? I hate the word punk. Did I was you? never a punk. I never played pink punk music. And how did you describe Johnny Thunders? Rock and when roll. It was rock and roll. And, and did Malcolm McLaren, uh, he managed you very early on in, in yeah, the New York Dolls? Yeah, he's the reason why we broke up. He's the reason why you broke up? Yeah. Well, he, he, he dressed... He did. What did he do? Funny. He dressed us in red, red patent leather. And we used to have a, a red hammer and sickle flag behind us. And our motto was, better red than dead. You were way ahead of your time, weren't you? But he went off then and more or less kind of stole the idea of the New York Dolls and well, came with the Sex we met him. We met, we met him when we first went to London in 72 and we bought clothes in his store. And he got the concept. Then he worked with us for a while and me and Jerry Nolan quit the band. And and were you kind of, did you feel aggrieved when Johnny Rotten and the Sex Pistols came along and seemed to they take... They were great, the man. They were great, great live rock and roll band. I mean, music isn't competitive, first of all. And it shouldn't be competitive because music is, you like this music, I like that music. And I was, I thought they were great rock and roll bands. They go on tour with them, it's fabulous. Now you grew up in, in uh, New York City, didn't you? Right. Yeah. And you, you, you must have had a good musical education growing up in the town with all yeah. those good bands there. I've seen the best. Who did, who, tell me some of the bands like you grew up. Janis Joplin, Alan Wolf, Jimi Hendrix, uh, The Yardbirds, King. <laughs> Free. You, you liked a lot of those girl groups as well, didn't you? I remember reading something about that somewhere. Oh, yeah, I like them and all those. So you're here, you're going to do a few gigs here now. Here. You're in, in Dublin tomorrow night, is it? Uh, you're, I think you're in Dublin tomorrow night. It's only told me you're in Belfast on Saturday, is it? Uh, somebody, tell me, somebody will tell me tomorrow. Somebody will tell you tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> and they're doing, I think you're doing a late night gig tonight. Somebody's just going to be yeah, able to go on the beach or somewhere later on. Do you still like just getting on planes and trains and boats and doing all that? I figure the only other thing I can do besides play music is be a pimp, so. <laughs> And what about New York? You don't live there anymore, no? You know, I hate New York. It's gotten so sleazy, it's gotten so... Oh. Manhattan's like the Bronx now. So is it a damaging place to live then, is it? Well, most places are damaging. Yeah. Well, it all depends how... You cope with it. Yeah. You, know? you had it all a bit of the you friends you have. I hear you had a bit of an adventure on a plane yesterday. <laughs> this is really funny. I, I, I took I took uh, British Air, Airways to to pa uh, from Paris to um, to London to transfer, and I just bought this new powder, this new makeup, and I was testing in the bathroom. So I guess the stupidest one in af after me and saw all this brown powder on the floor, so she must have thought it was yeah, a, oh an illegal substance. Well, you don't have a, I mean, you, you did have a serious habit. You've been on methadone now for, yeah. for a long time, haven't yeah. you? Is it very hard? Do people still beat up on you every time you go somewhere on the basis that they consider you're still a junkie? Listen, if I was straight for 50 years, they'd still call me a junkie. It's not part of your legend, though, Johnny, is it's it? It's not part of it. I play rock and roll. I don't... I, I haven't read anything about myself in 10 years. I haven't even read the book uh, that's been written about me. That's how, that's how I survive it. Well, you mean that uh, what you are now is what you are and uh, what that I don't, you're writing about? Well, well did, you ever, did you ever hear anybody want to grow up and be a rock writer? <laughs> <laughs> Fair comment, yeah. But by the same token, whether you like it or not, uh, everywhere you go in the world, there are people who revere you, people who idolize you, and they see you as a kind of seminal influence in their lives. Well, I hope it's the music. 
But do you ever think that uh, some of it is to style and that you were the original rebel, the original kid on the streets of New York? Said, I no. copied everything from somebody else. You know, everything, everybody, everything comes from somebody. I mean, Keith, took, Keith Richards took it from Chuck Berry. I took it from Keith Richards, you know. And you pass it on to Johnny Rotten. Have you, well, do you see in today's bands, do you see a legitimate contender for your title? Do there, you? is, there, is, there is no... Today's music has no roots. No roots at all, and I find that disgusting. It's wank music. They're just trying to compete. I mean, people, I mean, the rock bands, they're supposed to be rock and roll bands. They're, I mean, they, they're closed. Every stud is in perfect order. There isn't a stud out of place. I mean, that's rock and roll. Is that American rock and roll, though, or is that, do you find that everywhere you go? Uh, all over the world. Yeah. Uh, how long do you think you can go on kind of gigging, Johnny? Till I die. You, you kind of see yourself in a, like a legendary blues man who'll just keep going. And I going. hope so. Hope I don't turn black though. <laughs> <laughs> now, what kind of are you still? Do you still find a lot of motivation to write? I mean, what kind of things do you write oh, yeah. about now? Well, I write about children. I write, I just wrote one about uh, the homeless called "Help the Homeless." About um, about the the way um, the Americans treat the homeless. I mean, it's 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 just it's. It's just it's horrible. Travesty, yeah. It's horrible. I mean, I can't believe the way. I mean, in Tompkins Square Park, that's the park in New York. There's maybe 200 makeshift homes. They went. They rolled over all the homes with garbage trucks. Just to flatten them. Just to get rid of them. That's funny stuff. Funny stuff. Well, listen, I hope the sign that the sign's going to hit me is not going to be that heavy, is it? No. What's this sound? What's it called? Uh, Joey, Joey. Joey, Joey. All right, look, you go get your guitar. Jamie there, and I'll get a bit of hush for us. Yo, Nida Hawks. Very special little treat for you tonight. All the way originally from New York. I said a special treat. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call you a little creep. A special treat. A man who's a legend in his own life. And even though he doesn't like to be called a legend. Would you welcome the fabulous Johnny Thunders. Yay! Born in Red House, Brooklyn. In the uh, who knows when. Loafing up his... Excuse me, kids. I knew something like this would happen. I usually don't. It is Friday the 13th, isn't it? You guys are funny looking, you know. Let me tell you something. Do, do I have a second to talk? Seamus. <laughs> okay, never mind. I won't be rude. Born in Red House, Brooklyn. In the year, who knows when. Open up his eyes. To Carly and. Ooh, Joey, 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 king of the street. Who Joey, 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 can't get no relief. Who Larry Woody Otis? Who Joey was next? They try to get Larry. Joey got so upset. Ooh, Joey, 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 king of the street. Ooh, Joey, 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 can't get no relief. They tried to tell him he was doing wrong. Mess around with some colors. Boy, you're doing so wrong. Joey, 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 king of the street. Ooh, Joey, 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 can't get no relief. Joey, 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 